during the Gulf War Operation Desert Storm, about 700,000 servicemen and women were deployed uh, into uh, Iraq. Uh, during that time, many of them were exposed to fumes and uh, toxic chemicals from you know, oils, fumes, and, and, and uranium deposits. Not everybody developed the, the illness, but many of them did come back home and had um, uh, symptoms of the disease, which are body aches, headaches, uh, often uh, inability to remember, that they are exhausted, they have um, uh, stomach problems. So uh, the theory, at least, is that the toxins that these people are exposed to, they change the ability of uh, certain uh, mechanisms in the body. What makes this study uh, different from other studies like it is that uh, we are among the very few people who are looking at the brain directly using a method that does not require that uh, cut pieces of the brain because that's very difficult. So we are able to use advanced brain imaging to look directly into changes that may have occurred in the brain. What we are trying to do for this study is to look at those chemicals directly in the brain using a imaging like the one in, in, that you see in the back. It's a standard MRI instrument. Uh, it's, it's safe. And then we are going to look directly into the brain, measure the levels of those compounds and compare them with also servicemen and women who were exposed but did not develop the disease. Yeah, the eligibility criteria for this study uh, is uh, for men and women who went to Desert Storm between 1990 and 1991. They need to be uh, between the ages of 45 and 65. And we don't want only people who have the illness, but we also want people who were exposed to these uh, uh, toxins but never developed the disease. The reason people might I want to consider uh, participating in this study is that um, the disease is not really understood. We know absolutely nothing about it, what causes it. The only way we could actually understand this disease or any disease at all is by doing research. So if you are uh, participating in this study, you will actually be helping humanity, maybe even yourself or your relatives down the road, if we can actually understand what the disease is and then try to come up with the uh, cures or diagnostic tests that will actually help us manage the disease.